I think a lot of it came down to the exposure that we were given to, like the church that we attended at the time was similar to our church in that the missions program was really important and they would always read out missionary prayer letters and we'd, you know, have missionaries pass through. But then the school I attended did some, like, regional mission trips Mm -hmm. in 2012, 13, 14, I think. Went down to Ballarat once, to Albury. So you're really and that was to it. That was just yeah. fantastic. Like, And that's what I would say to, to many people, and I sound like a broken record again, but, you know, if God gives you an opportunity to take some time out of your life to go and do a small missions trip, you know, maybe not overseas at the moment, but somewhere anyway, here in yeah. Australia, there are opportunities. I, um, I, take I agree it. with you. I agree Seize with you because my dad was big on missions as well when I was growing up, and when I was... 11, 13, 14, and 15, mm. he sent me on mission trips. Sometimes he wasn't even on them. Mm. He would send me with my uncle or he'd send me with a church group and he'd mm. go, go see it, go see what it is. And that really helped me understand the ministry and understand mm. what the ministry requires. Mm. Um, how important do you think missions is to our local church? Because like you said, we do have a big program mm. for missions and we do have a big emphasis for it. But... I don't know how big an emphasis it has on a personal Christian's life. Mm. As a normal Christian at home, right, how do you encourage them to understand the impact of missions? I think there are several ways that that can be achieved. One is just simply talking about it. You know, there's that old saying, out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. If things aren't talked about, you know, it slips from people's memories. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so just even talking about it, having missionaries come through is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, like our church, just before um, we had this COVID waters closed, yeah. etc., yeah. you know, some of our guys went over to Sri Lanka. and we were, that, that was, what, February? Just just before, yeah. and we were planning even more trips. And we went to Mudgee down, uh, down the coast. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's opportunities, you know, even with... Um, the opportunities that we've had with some islanders up in, you know, in northern New South Wales, there are opportunities. So, Take and them. I think that's what this, the border closures have really shown us, that we've got a mission field here too. Mm. And that's, you know, my heart, as much as I love overseas and it's, you know, reshaped the way I think, my heart is really for Australia. Yeah? Yeah. Your heart's sort of not changed, but redirected to Australia. Yeah, well... That's beautiful. I've got right? the purpose overseas, but I don't feel sentimental about the place. Like Papua New Guinea or I went to East Timor. Probably Aussie, not the places I want to you're, settle. <laughs> you're Aussie born and bred, bro. Yeah. But I think you're right in that mm. if you've got the chance to, uh, young people especially coming out of school or have mm. a school holidays coming up, take the opportunity. Mm. It's huge. It, it's a big impact. And, and it changes the way you really do think about God's work. Mm.